Hi guys, it's Darkness for Life here, and I'm doing a PvP video how to get better at Dark Souls 2. And uh, if like, subscribe, and comment if you want a second part on the PvE. It's going to be PvP. I'm going to invade some people and give you tips how to get better at PvP. One of the best tips I would probably give keeping your distance. Lucky players, you will probably hold your shield up on like 6, 7 and 5 meters, hold your shield. If you see the players no lagging, don't keep your, sh keep your shield up on you when you think he doesn't attack. And then when you get close, attack. And a really important thing as well in PvP, predicting the attacks. That's really important. When you predict your attack, matters about death, about win or a loss. So you should actually. And I'll guess I'll fight this guy in move. This guy has two goblins, so I don't know. and not to you try and use whatever you can to win any advantage NPCs, anything like dropping down dropping on the player but try and use like for example most of the things have not been patched here but as Having a shield feels so bad, like a man. So sh So like, what's the point of it? You just do block attack, but I can dodge attack. When they patch the curse, they patch all of them. I'm not sure that they already patched them all the or whatever. But they could have patched some, not all. Because that basically shields are good for setup pad like Santi Espear. It will spam. You will never set up high unless you pile your eye away. And I like myself. I'm good pying with curved swords and I'm okay with shields. Like these guys again, gang. I will switch to my to my rocket to one
touch the Santia Spear. It's impossible to parry with a shield. You can parry with a curved sword, but they patch them now, so it's so well done. Santia Spear, the, you know what people do? It does slower damage, so people just buff it. What's the difference? It does the same damage, maybe a bit over even. Uh, that's the problem with this game, like uh, the Lichi game makers don't wanna patch what actually they they put in a game OP stuff and they don't wanna patch it. Like Monastery Scimitar. I would say that Scimitar's no OP if you use it against Santia Spear and weapons like that for one reason. You cannot parry Santia Spear without. Oh, and. Now let me get to the another few good tips. For example, if you use some weapons like Harbor, try and hit them with the last piece of the blade, cause like the Black Knight Harbor, it will do up to seven to eight hundred damage if you hit them with the end of the blade. Same thing goes for no the great swords. You have to be as close as possible. I would. And try not to spam with great swords because you can get set up high really. For example, and you're gonna and you're going to be losing, and you're going to be like 20 or 30 percent left, and the other player is like 70, 80, or he has an advantage over you. Play carefully, dodge, block every attack as much as you can, because it will all depend how you play. Because it's not actually how to win when you have lower health; it's depending what the other player uses. Like, if you use some magic, it's easy for one of these, because you always have backup magic. If you 40-40 build like me on this build, it's not as easy, because you basically can rely only on your weapon and your skill. And when you was gankers, 80% of the time you're gonna lose, like, unless you party them or backstab them like you saw before with the shadow dagger. I only use the shadow dagger This guy bow, okay I'll bow And as well like Try and use more skillful weapons So people would see how People cannot set a party and party. Those are insanely hard weapons to. I at least never saw nobody. In the video, I will keep it two more minutes and I will stop. And another tip that's for PvP. Try and use different kind of weapons because then you're going to get better at all types. Not just like one type. 
And don't try and use like something like a Kimbo uh, like two armies because there's no skill and another tip. Try and use for example fire bombs or something whenever the other player is low on health or something like a bow. If you if both of you are super low on health. So you could get the first hit and maybe actually kill the other player. You saw me doing a quick switch between my dagger and dagger. Because I already knew that I can back 7 because he has the fat hole. And that's the problem with... If you wanna do, okay, if you wanna hear about the PvE, hit, leave a like, subscribe and comment that you want PvE tips and tricks. And I will basically show them about playing PvP by playing PvE. Another good tip, if you wanna do for example something like setup heights, do them on weapons like great swords. Uh, like something like uh, ultra grade or some slow weapons all that have an attack not high away after another like curve sword or butcher's knife they're really really hard to pass and Like I already probably said, try and use more skillful weapons because then you're gonna get better at the game of Try to use none of this like magic because it's just like there's no point. It shows no skill. I'm going to go back to that. The most overpowered weapon in the game is called the uh, King Sword or something. It basically you have a million swords. It will scale with dark 700 damage. If you buff it, it will do even more. That's why that guy no no skill. But whatever. And try and do like less guarding, more dodging, because then you're gonna get better at the game. And this will end the video, so guys if you enjoyed and want a PvE, slap the like button, subscribe and comment that you want a PvE video for Dark Souls 2. Peace out guys, I'm ending the video.